Hello everyone! Oh, welcome to the Unfiltered Gamer live stream. I'm Callie here tonight with Philip and Joey Vigor. Hello. And we Hello. will be playing a couple of games, including Joey's latest title, Monsters and the Things That Destroy Them. Woo! All right, so let's get into Monsters and the Things That Destroy Them. Joey, tell us the quick overview of the game okay we can do this quick it's a 21 card micro game to four players and it's all ages pretty much uh safe for all ages takes about 15 minutes to play awesome okay we'll go to the top down now we can see the card so tell us a little bit about how the game plays and then we'll dig right into it all right well it's a bluffing game and kind of a memory game so there's monsters which look like monsters and then there's the things that destroy them. So, for example, Silver Bullet. Oh, yeah. It says, during resolution, cancel Teen Wolf and Wolf Man. That makes sense. <laughs> so every card has a number at the top left, and that's the number of points for its value at the end of the game. So Ooh. you're going to end the game with two cards in your hand, and throughout the game on your turn, you're going to take a card of your choice into your hand, and if it's a monster, it triggers, and I'll get into that. But then at the end of the game, you choose from your hand and you choose two cards of your choice and you're gonna want the best combo of cards. So ideally you would have the 12, which is the kaiju, and say the 11, which is like a giant ape. But it, maybe yeah. you have to be careful because suppose you end up with the kaiju and the wolf man, uh, and I end up with say the silver bullet and, and the giant ape. The giant ape's 11, so I would get 11 points, plus four points for the silver bullet, but look, look out, because the silver bullet cancels the wolf man. So the the so tactical, then you only have 12 here. And right, you'd add you about 12, and, and I would have my 11 plus my 4, which is 15. So Ooh. there's the monsters, which are monsters, and then there's the things that destroy them, which, which are tactical cards. And those are lower point values, and tactical cards can't be canceled, but they cancel other things, and they still give you a couple points, even though they're not as powerful as the monsters. Nice. And then the monsters also have abilities that we'll be able to trigger throughout the game as we pick them up, and even from other abilities. Right. So unlike other card games, usually <laughs> you're used to playing a card from your hand. That's not how this game works. The only time you play a card from your hand is at the end when you're scoring the cards you saved in your hand. In this game, when you take a monster from the pool on your turn, you choose a card, one of the four cards in the pool, take it into your hand. If it's a monster... It has an ability. Look at the top card of an opponent's discard pile. You may trigger it or move it onto another discard pile. So you can actually take the card into your hand, and if that card triggers another card, you can you can trigger the other card. Everyone has a face down card in your discard pile. Like, I'll go ahead and shuffle the cards here. Yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and set it up and get to playing. Yeah. So when you discard, when you reach, when you end your turn with more than three cards in your hand, so if you have four plus cards in your hand, you have to discard the card of your choice face down to your personal discard pile, you can always peek at your own discard pile anytime you want, but you can't rearrange it. All right. So, can you read upside down? That's a gill man, it's a one, and that's a nuclear weapon, that's a tactical card that destroys big things at the end of the game. Hunk vampire, what does that do? Lets you trigger the top card of your discard pile, that's kind of interesting. And fire, which cancels the monster, Frankenstein's monster, and the mummy, and then here's your personal discard, and you can always peek at it. Okay, and I'm going to do that right now before we start. All right, should I go first? I think so. Show us uh, how it's done. End. Don't want to be, <laughs> be rude here, but I, <laughs> I am on the left. Okay, so let me see here. I guess I'm going to have to go for the uh, Hunk Vampire. You can trigger the top card of your discard pile. Let me see if this top card make, is... make sure you can trigger something. <laughs> yeah, I don't actually think I want to do that right now, but I don't know if that card's going to exist by the end of the game. So I think I'm going to uh, take it just so you don't get it. So... When you take the card, you say the name. Hunk Vampire, nine. It just helps people remember. And the next card comes out. All right. We got Kaiju now. That's a pretty pretty powerful one. Uh, got the 12. You may rearrange your... The power is not super helpful for me, but it's a big card, so I think I will take Kaiju 12 into my hand. So it says you may rearrange your discard pile. Nothing happens. <laughs> Go ahead, Philip. Philip. All right, I'm going to take the, what's it called, a nuclear weapon? Yep. So it's a nuclear weapon, zero, yep. and add that to my hand. Yep, and because it's tactical, it does, does nothing now. Yep. And then this comes out, obsession. So we got a lot of tactical cards tactical now. Tactical cards, right. <laughs> so we got the, the cards that are out are the ones that cancel the monster and mummy, the hunk vampire and Dracula, mm -hmm. and 
Gilman and Phantom of the Opera. So this one's six points because it cancels really, really weak cards. So it might be worth it on its own whether or not anybody has that one. All right. So I think... I'm going to peek at this again. I'm actually going to go for a slightly different strategy this time. I'm going to take the Sunlight. It cancels the 9 of the 10, the Hunk Vampire and Dracula. So I'm going to take Ooh, that. Safeguard your own card. Oh, we don't need to remind Philip <laughs> what I have in my hand. That's my, that's my secret. All right. Okay. We have a Teen Wolf now. Look at the top two cards of any discard pile. You may trigger one. I'm going to go ahead and take Fire. Okay. Which is a three, tactical. Okay, and then this is Mr. Hyde. It increases your hand size and lets you take the top card of your discard pile into your hand. Okay. I'll take Mr. Hyde, four. All right. I will activate its effect, which is to take the top card from my discard pile into your hand. All right. And my hand size is now plus one until the resolution begins. Yep, and resolution is right at the end of the game, so now you don't have to discard anytime soon. Okay, straight jacket. Um, cancels Invisible Man and Mr. Hyde. Well, I guess I'll do that, I guess. <laughs> Just so I have some safeguard here. All right, Invisible Man, Invisible Man comes out. Ooh. I think I'll take the Invisible Man, three. Take the top two cards from your discard pile into your hand. Okay. Take this one. And now I have to discard... And actually, you don't have to discard until you see what the next one okay. is, which is Wolfman. Wolfman. Oh, yeah. Okay, the very last thing you do on your turn is discard if you need to. Okay, I'll discard and go ahead, Philip. Okay, so I get to take a card from the pool. So I will take the Gilman one. Yep. And may trigger a card in my hand. So does that mean... Yeah, so any monster can be any triggered. Any monster can be yeah. triggered. So you can use the ability on the card. But okay. to trigger it, you have to reveal the card. Yeah, you have to okay. re read it. I'm going to activate the giant ape. Oh, okay. Take the Nothing. top card of any discard pile and move it to another okay. discard pile. So I'll Ooh. move this over here. Oh, interesting. <laughs> why actually, why actually I'll you move want it for yourself? Oh, just yeah. that one. Just that one. Yeah, now, yeah. You, can, now you can peek at it because it's in your discard pile, right? Yep. Uh-huh. Okay. Alrighty. Yeah, not very interesting. And then stay in <laughs> that stays hand, in your hand. It's in your hand, yeah. So yeah. you can I have to resolve the turn, which is to discard a. Oh, card. hold on. Are you at, are you still at four? Yeah, You're discard four, pile. Yeah. So you don't have to discard, right? Because didn't you take oh, Mr. Right. Hyde? It's Hyde. for the rest yeah, of the exactly. game mm -hmm. until until the resolution. You're at hand size of four. All right. Okay, my turn. Okay, I gotta get a big, big, tough beast here. <laughs> Silver bullet's good. Cancel Teen Wolf and Wolfman. That's not bad. They're both out though. So yeah, no one I, has them. <laughs> if I take this, then someone else. Uh, it's just tough because if I take the teen, the Wolfman, right? Then, then someone, someone else is gonna take that. that. So <laughs> look at the top card in the opponent's discard. You may trigger it or move it onto. Okay, this is interesting. I think that's not, the opponent. I want to know what that thing is. I want to know what you <laughs> discarded because that helps me decide. Okay, so I'm gonna take the Wolfman into my hand. I can look at it six. <clears throat> I can look at the top card of. An opponent's discard pile. So I can I can't take it for myself. I could move it to my discard pile, but it, more importantly, let me peek at it. So I could trigger it if I wanted it. Oh, this is great. This is great. Okay, I'm gonna trigger Invisible Man. Take the top two cards from your discard pile into your hand, which I will do. Now I have five cards in my hand. I gotta discard <laughs> down to three. Um, but that is a critical thing for me. Yay. Discard down to three. I'm happy with this now. A lot of this game takes place sort of in your own head, if that makes sense. So I kind of know what's going on and it's kind of exciting, but you might not have mm -hmm. the same subjective experience as me. Because mm -hmm. what, what I just did was way cooler than you guys realize. Okay, invincibility. If your car, other card is a monster, only nuclear weapon can cancel it. So it protects your monster card. I'm gonna go ahead and take this silver bullet here. Okay. <laughs> it's a four. All right. And then I'll discard down. And the monster came out. Yeah. Monster. Alrighty. Sure. Go ahead. So this one's cool. You can, if you remember a specific monster that's really powerful or something like that, it's in somebody's hand. You can name it, and they, if they have it, they have to discard it, which is okay. really nice. Although sometimes getting it to the discard pile is actually good for other people because they're <laughs> able to trigger it remotely. I'll pick or, up the monster. Or pick it up. <laughs> yeah. And this is monster seven. To yep. the player, I choose Kelly and name the kaiju. No. If you have it, please discard it. 
And then I have to discard a card since I have five now. Yep, and then and Dracula came out in case that matters to you. So this is a big decision, because I don't want Team Wolf. Um, <laughs> but I don't want anyone else to... It's, it could be really good, depending on what's in your... It doesn't really help me, though, is the yeah. problem. Any discard, but I just don't know what it does. I don't know what I don't know what's in there. I know, I know the kaiju is there, but the kaiju power is not very good. It just lets you rearrange something. So I think what I'll uh, the problem is if I take well you know what I'll just take the ten because it's a big one. So ten Dracula, you may trigger a card in the pool. Eh, I might as well trigger the Teen Wolf. Look at the top two cards of any discard pile. I could trigger one, so I'll look at your discard pile, see if there's anything I want. Oh, this is fun. Okay, so I'm not going to reveal this unless I choose one to trigger. I'm going to. This is really interesting. Oh man, I got a lot of choices. Okay, I'm going to reveal and trigger the Gill Man. Okay, which lets me trigger a card in my hand, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Which I'm going to then spend Wolfman, look at the top card of an opponent's discard pile. You may trigger it or move it onto another discard pile. Um, so now I've revealed Wolfman, and I'm going to look at this one and move it onto this discard pile. Ooh, okay. Mm -hmm. That's it's a little bit of a chain effect there. Uh -huh. There mm -hmm. it is. Now I'm very excited about that move. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we have Super Serum. If your other card is a monster and it doesn't get canceled, double your score. Yeah. I think that one seems like a good one to go with, the Super Serum. Alrighty. And Phantom of the Opera, Philip. You get any player's hand or discard pile. Hmm. Nice. All right, I will pick up the Phantom of the Opera too. Mm-hmm. And Joey, I would like to look at your hand. Okay. Keep it secret now. You can, sh you can show the camera, or you can put it out here if you want to show the, okay. show the screen. And I will look away. If you want to show it in front here. Do I want to show it in the front? Yeah. On the camera? Oh, show it, you put it down here, because we're, we're, we're looking, from, here. looking from the it. ceiling. Okay. Okay. With, you're not looking, right? Yeah, so. that's good. No, she's not looking. Okay. Yeah. So this is, this is pretty important, and that might come into play. We'll see. All right. Well, just don't say it out loud. What do you think? <laughs> okay. I, I can't hear anyway. Okay, good. Okay. I'm not good. But... Okay. Okay, you're all Got set. It. All right, we're good. All right. And you have to discard. You have more than four. Five. Yeah, so discard, and there's nothing to come out because it's the last. We've got one more round of turns here. All right. All right. Um, all right, so uh, actually, wait, hold on. If, is that, if that's the last card... Then I think that's, is that the end? The last card came out? Yeah, I think that's the end. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's why we, yeah, that's that's it. So now everyone discards down to just two cards. Mm-hmm. And then we're going to choose our best two. And Philip, at the end, all that matters with the monsters is the number in the upper left, and all that matters with the tactical cards is the during resolution power at the bottom. Mm-hmm. And what does it mean to cancel? It means to that no, means, no it means worth right? zero, yeah. So... So you don't want to cancel your own guy if you have your own, if you have that guy, but if you think someone is, I mean, you just saw my hand. If you have yeah. the thing that cancels the thing you saw, you know, I probably will. Pl of the three cards, it's, especially if it's a higher number, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but there, it's a little bit of a bluffing and kind of double bluffing because I might play something that's smaller, knowing that you'll play the thing that'll cancel my higher one. Would I be able to cancel my own monster then? Yeah, you don't want to do yeah, that. Yeah, I don't want to do yeah. that. So mm -hmm. uh, okay, are you all set? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so now everyone reveal your biggest monster or your biggest card. Ready? Ooh, ooh, 10, 8, and 7. Oh, this is really bad for me. I made a terrible mistake. <laughs> I made a terrible mistake. Are you ready? And then reveal the next one. Yeah. Oh, so, we didn't uh, play the 11. Yeah, <laughs> I, I thought you, didn't you have the giant ape? No, uh, oh, yeah, Philip you, had the you giant, had the giant ape, ape at one point. Yeah, I guess you yeah. don't have it. So anyway, I ended up with 11. I, I didn't cancel anything. Uh, you ended up with 16. I doubled my mummy. And you ended up, oh no, <gasps> wait a minute. The monster is seven and the nuclear weapon kills my dra my Dracula because it's the kills the biggest thing. Oh. So I end up with one point, you end up with 16, and you, oh no. Seven. You, you only end up with seven. Yeah. Aww. Well, Callie wins. Yay. But at least you killed the you, you killed my biggest guy. So that's okay. She's the most experienced player of all three of us. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's monsters. All right, that's monsters and the things that kill them. Destroy right. them. 
Destroy that. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. Some of the My, monsters, some of the, there, there's a straight, get, some of them totally, aren't killed. So there's a straight jacket. Totally obliterate, obliterated your monster. <laughs> yes. My mummy you. made it out. My super serum mummy, double power. Yes. <laughs> against the monster and against a teeny weensy military force here. Yes. <laughs> no. Yes. No, it was good. That's, That's the whole game. It's like deciding who has what, determining what you want to cancel or go big with your own creatures. Yeah, and there's a whole other set. There's there's also the uh, there's another set of uh, sea monsters. This one's that, that one's called Monsters the Dark. It's the base yeah. game, and then there's a whole other set with unique cards called Monsters the Deep. So if you like Cthulhu or Captain Nemo, the then, Kraken. Uh, that one's for you. Yeah, Kraken, yeah, classic. Yeah, so cute. Yeah, so the art is by uh, Kayami, who also did uh, some other games, some cat themed games like Cleopatra and and uh, Cat Rescue. Cat and then Rescue. she's actually yep. I, she's working a lot. Of, cat themed games so uh i'm really happy with the art on this so cool yeah we're doing a awesome. kickstarter on february 1st for it yes and the link is down in the description or the pinned comment if you want to sign up to get notified when monsters and the things that destroy them comes out on kickstarter yeah two weeks so you must be feeling the pressure Joey. Really. nah i got bigger <laughs> i got bigger problems I got, I got i'm fulfilling another kickstarter this week so i got bigger problems but thank you for checking it out thanks for having me kelly yeah of course thank you kelly. for sharing the game Right.